Welcome to SST College of Arts and Commerce. This is SST Udupedia. Myself, Maithili Gauri Shankar, going to teach you SY BAP SEMS 4th Information Technology in Accountancy 2. We are going to see the topic Business Process Management. What is Business pro Process Management? A business process is defined set of activities or behaviors performed by humans or machines to achieve one or more goals triggered by specific events and have one or more outcome that may result in the termination of the process or a handoff to another process. Composed of a composition of interrelated tasks or activities that solve a particular issues. End to end work that delivers value to customer and may involve crossing any functional boundaries. So, business process generally gives the organization development and to analyze the development of the business. In other words, the business process is a collection of linked tasks which find their end in the delivery of the service or product to the client. From this, the business can be uh, processed and it was analyzed. Depending on the organization, industry and nature of work, business process are broken into different categories. Operational process that is primary process, supporting process or secondary process and management process. Operational processes are primary processes. It deals with the core business and chain, value chain. For example, customer orders and managing bank accounts. The basic start of the business is controlled in this process. Supporting process are secondary processes. It support back core processes and functions within an organization. For example, accounting, HR management, workplace safety are the secondary processes. For example, in account, after getting the check, the process of the finance will be take place, accounting calculation will be take place. In HR management, after recurring any candidate, further process of salary, etc. will uh, get process. In workplace safety, other safety measures of the workplace will be considered so, these are the secondary processes of the business. Management processes. Management processes measure, monitor and control activities related to business procedures and system. So, technology is also comes under management processes. For example, internal communication, governance, governance strategic planning, Budgeting, infrastructure and capacity management are comes under management processes where the management and manager take under consideration of full business. There are types of processes, primary or core processes, support processes, management processes. What we have seen before, some of the other processes we are seeing here represent the essential activities that an organization performs to fulfill its mission. This makes up the value chain where each set, each step add values to the proceeding step as measured by its contribution to the creation or delivery of a product or service. Ultimately, delivering value. So, the process of starting the business is comes under primary processes. Support process for the primary process and continuing the full business process, this will be the supporting process. The process support the primary processes often by managing the resources and our infrastructure required by primary processes. Example of support process include information technology management, facility or capacity management and human resource management. 
management processes so already we have seen this measure monitor and control business activity comes under management processes the manager is the head of the manager management processes business processes also uh, have three types human intensive processes system intensive processes and document intensive processes these processes comes under the nature of work first human intensive processes in this lot of interaction and involvement of people in each step of the business application are take place so human who are involving in the businesses are comes under human in intensive processes for example climbing processing loan approval accounts payable mortgage organization cust customer service travel request purchase request work submitted by insurance agent and adjusters so these are the human intensive process where human uh, involvement is very much need every step the human want to approach and uh, the process should be done with the help of the human system intensive processes means the process which can, which can be done in the system in in which millions of transaction take place every day which internet with package application custom application external application and very occasionally with home, humans so automatically taking place system are coming system intensive processes for example atm is system intensive processes there is no need of human now in bank you will see automatic update of your passbook that is also system intensive processes document intensive processes are the process reviews documents for approval enter data from those documents into a back office system and make decision so what are the steps we are seeing in primary and secondary everything it was converted into documents and it was stored as a data for analyzing and decision making of the development of the organization so in document the process will be approved by the higher officials for example new account opening that should be approved by manager invoice processing legitimation support or industry specific processes like medical records mortgage organization claims processing or loan approval everything want to approved by the managers and the process will be taking place in primary and secondary processes automating document overflow we are going to see what are the benefit from that by having the automating document overflow it will reduces the errors improve communications employee success will be there reduce costing and efficiency will be increasing management visibility and status will be increasing and easy to manage and find the drawbacks organization development will be there real time support timely support will be there with the help of all this the efficiency of the organization will go up the process lifestyles has five phases first design so in business process we want to go in the systematic manner in that this five phases are helpful first one design process design encompass both the identification of existing process and the design to be process if new process is implementing the design of the new process should be uh, planned and want to get approval for the future modeling modeling takes the theoretical design and introduction combination of variables so what the design we are done we want to model that execution to 
automate process is to develop or purchase an application that executes the required steps of the process. So, after design and modeling, the execution is important, the step of the process of execution also to be considered. Monitoring, the monitor phase is where process performance is measured. So, what the design, modeling and execution we are doing, we want to monitor that whether the according to the plan the system is working or process is going is going or not. Optimization, that is process optimization includes retrieving process performance, informa information or informants from modeling or monitor monitoring phase. So, optimization does retrieving process. So, what are the things in design, modeling, execution and monitoring we are doing? We will gather and check the process of the plan whether it is retrieving properly in the optimization. So, in short, we, we, we used to say these five phases like DME, MO. So, DME, MO process, other word is DMAIC process we can say. The methodology we are using here are Six Sigma. So here DMAIC we, we are going to see the explanation. First define. Define the problem in terms of the customer. So whatever process if we are starting we should define or have the idea about the process we are starting. First we want to define that. Measure. Evaluate aspects of the current process and collect data. According to the definition, according to the need of the processes, we want to uh, check with the current process and collect data. Analyze. Interpret data to identify cases and effect. So, what are the uh, positive and negative points of the process we want to collect and analyze. Improve. Use the analysis to determine how to change the optimize the process according to our plan budget and other idea we want to uh, improve our plan according to the uh, analyze data we are getting last one control eliminate deviation from the target goal in order to correct future mistakes so to get achievement in our uh, process uh, or get profit in the organization, what are the deviations we are getting, we want to uh, remove that and plan, improve, analyze continuously and measure uh, what are the processes going on, then we can achieve the profit of the organization. Business process examples are shopping at a grocery store like the fisher counter having taking numbers rules about how to prepare the fish head and tail off and so forth so there are different uh, different uh, in the in the sir thoda cut so we have seen dme mo process and dma ic process now we are going to see business process example shopping at a grocery store. So in fish counter, fish market counter we are having different type of counters uh, for getting different type of uh, fishes in the fish market. Similarly in checkout, scanning and waiting procedure, gathering customer data, printing customized coupon, optimal bagging, taking payment, these are the uh, counter we will have in the uh, any market. Shopping at an uh, online retailer will have product display, cross selling, shopping cart and checkout process etc. Inventory management will have determining the inventory need, reordering with supplier, tracking and receiving shipment, stocking sales etc. What is the advantage of BPM? Agility means organization are constantly faced with the 
need for change so continuous change according to the trend and new availability the company should or organization should consult and ready to meet the change productivity bpm facilitate the automation of a lot of repetition repetitive elements within the regular workflow so automation machines helps to reduce the drawbacks or mistake fault happening in the product so efficiency of the product will be increasing so in productivity bpm is helping in the aut automation efficiency and reduced risk the visibility of bpm allows for concentration on inefficiency if any inefficiency is taking place bpm is help to rectify that compliance and transparency organization need to be compliant with industry regulations this implies organization processes will become transparent and visible in employee so every complaint considered as main thing and the problem will be rectified immediately will help for the employer to involve and to work in the organization a customer satisfaction is also one of the advantage bpm helps in this to the employee to focus on 100% on their work that cut down automation in turn increase production customer focus so focusing on the customer delivery time and product uh, quality will increase the customers satisfaction to get more benefit so with leaner process and increased productivity employee are better able to focus on the customer sustainability the adaptation of changing organization condition with bpm maintain the control or managerial oversight so continuously there will be changing in the trends according to that the adaptation is uh, adaptation is uh, need in the organization bpm is helping for that measurability all process can be measured end to end and compared to expected result bpm is very much helpful in measurability technology integration bpm bridges communication bridge between the business use business user and it so from the customer to it person and to the all the organization uh, organization the customer reviews and taking the steps for improvement of the products in the organization uh, bpm is helping very much uh, this is what we have seen till the advantages of bpm and main ideas of bpm business process model let, let me see next topic in the next lecture thank you students